previously on Survival Roleplay. Well, you didn't pay any attention to my original message, did you? Original message? This is it, Abby. Yes, babe. Sad times. Got like the long journey back to your uh, your parents' house, then, yeah. Yeah. Well, Abby, here we are. Suffolk. Hey, do you think we'll uh, ever own a castle like that one day? <laughs> don't really want to own a castle, to be honest. But I'd like to own a nice farm. King Sir Robert. And Princess Abby. Um, I, I need a middle name. Like a middle one. Princess Lady Abby. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, we've come a long way today. We've got uh, three farms we need to look at that are all for sale. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. I suppose we ought to make a move to the first one, really. What okay. do you think? Yeah. Let's go. Right, so here is the first farm. Home Farm, it's called. It's got a name already. Home Farm. Wow, it's quite big. Yeah, I think all three of them are quite big, actually. Um, so just to let everyone know, we've arranged with our estate agents to see all three farms in one day. Um, just because we've come all the way from Surrey to Sussex to have a look. Basically. So here we go, then. Let's take a look around. Oh, I like the red. <laughs> yes, the red is nice. Also, the storage shed is quite quite large, and that's that's really nice as well. In fact, we've got quite a lot of storage in here, and there's that little workshop over there. It it seems really tidy. Yeah, it does. You wait. You wait till we <laughs> we've moved ourselves into a farm and see if we keep it that tidy. Oh, look at that nice little workshop in here as well. So we can I can keep things sort of running. Oh, and more secret storage areas through here. Can't be snooping around too much. We're just uh, 
Oh, look. Oh, look at that. I could work at night. Brilliant. So we've got a cow shed that goes out onto a cow pasture here. Each of these farms comes with a few preset fields, but um, uh, I don't know which ones yet. Obviously, we've got a slurry pit, a manure bunker. I think this this grass field is definitely one of the ones that um, that that comes with this farm. It comes with a few arable fields as well, but I don't know exactly which ones off the top of my head. I haven't got the brochure here. So if we head... Uh, oh, the, here's one of the arable fields at least. Quite a big one actually. More storage over here. And then what have we got around this side? Another another large storage shed. Ah, and a silage bunker. That would be very useful for the cows. And I believe there's another grass field down here that is kitted out for sheep, I think. It seems massive. It is it is, isn't it? It's quite quite large. I mean that is reflected in the price. It's quite quite a hefty price. Let's um head through this gate. Yeah, I think this is a sheep field. Yeah, here's the water trough and the feed trough up here. I'm pretty sure it's a sheep field. But we could have some sheep. That'd be a first for us, wouldn't it, Abby? You know I love all animals. I'm quite happy to have any. That's true. That is true. Alright, better close the gate. Right, so that is home farm. Has a lot of storage sheds. I mean, we're going to have to get some more equipment and things. Obviously, after after what well, happened at Carmsden, we sold everything. We got a few bits we couldn't sell. We've still got those in storage at the minute. It's costing a fortune in storage. But as um, soon as we get ourselves a new farm, we'll get out. We'll get it out of storage. What do you think, love? I quite like it. I think it's got a lot of potential. I think it's got a lot of potential. It'd be nice to have some sheep as well. Cows, I mean, yeah, we could do cows. That's not a problem at all. We've always done cows, haven't we? Mm. But it'd be nice to have some sheep. Be nice to see the other farms. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, um, let's head down to the next one then, shall we? So, here's the next one, Stonebridge Farm, it's called. It's right on the main road then, there's no driveway. No, I'm just thinking that as well. Well, there is a driveway, we're sort of in it, but it's still right on the main road, there's no... Yeah. Let's have a quick look around, it looks like they've got the heating going. So yeah, we've, we've had a look at the houses before. Um, on uh, on the website and stuff. It's it's not really the houses. I mean, the ho any house we can make a home, can't we, Abby? Yeah, of course we can. Well, I can. <laughs> yes, okay, you can. <laughs> but uh, no, this is the um, it's the farm that I'm more interested in because of what we can do and how we can progress with it. Now this looks like it's got a lot of a uh, lot of storage. Are these things open, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, this is a nice workshop actually. Well, both of these places so far have had a really nice workshop. This one feels a bit more closed in. It does, doesn't it? What have we got in here? There's a bit of a garage. It's very tight, this yard, isn't it? Very tight. Um, are they all the same size, all the farms? 
roughly speaking, yeah, they're all three farms of the same size. And this one's got a silo, look, for grain storage. That would be quite handy. Be like Sheila's farm at, uh, at Carmsden, wouldn't it? But that was a, a much bigger and posher grain storage there. Oh, look. It's got a bunny rabbit hutch and a bunny rabbit pen. Oh, we could have bunny rabbits. You could have bunny rabbits. That's true. That would be a nightmare with the foxes. Well, yeah, we would have to keep an eye out, wouldn't we? A um, bit of uh, clutter here to clean up and stuff, but that's not the end of the world. Actually, speaking of um, animals, we it doesn't appear that there's a huge... Oh, hang on, there's an there's a animal field over here. Not really sure what this tank's for. Uh, that's just a grass, regular grass field, isn't it? And then there's a grazing field here. I mean, this must be sheep, I suppose. Wait, we could have sheep. I did see a sign out the front saying fresh eggs, but I don't see anywhere for chickens, did you? No, not at the minute. What was that all back there? Were they all old caravans? Where? Back either way. Oh, yes, there's just more clutter and stuff to clear up. Uh, we need to take that into consideration, Robert. True. True, because it's not going to be cheap to get rid of these things, is it? Unless they're going to move them for us. Which I very much doubt, given that they've uh, decided to put the, the farm up for sale and have it like this. There's going to be a working campsite next to it, next door as well. It's not very private, especially for our home. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's another... Ah. Oh, now this is interesting. So they have got the facilities for pigs. Stonebridge Farm can have pigs. You know I love my pigs. <laughs> I do know you love your pigs. You definitely miss looking after Owens, don't you? Definitely. And this this actually looks like a bit of a chicken pen, possibly. So this is, could be where the eggs come from. Although there's no fresh eggs at the minute, because there's no fresh chickens. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at least I think it's chickens anyway. Possibly. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And that seems to be just about the bones of this farm, doesn't it? I mean, it's very tight yards. Have to have small equipment, wouldn't we? That's going to make it much harder. And there's not a lot of arable farming. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're right there. I mean, there is plenty of storage for stuff, but you couldn't fit big machines in into the uh, into the sheds, could you? Stonebridge Farm. I like the sign. A nice little sign. Can't make money off a sign, though, Robert. <laughs> you're right. There we go. Business head on, Abby. Yep. Well, it's interesting look. Interesting to look at, isn't it? Let's go to the next one. Okay. Now the next one's only just down the road, I think. Is it still on the main road then? Uh, no, it's off a, a little, a little cul-de-sac, little turning. Hang on, let's get out onto onto the main road here. Um, I think the, the, the only downside to the next one is it is inside the town boundary. Oh. So yeah, so we're coming into the we're coming into the town now. Ah, here we are, here we are, this is it. Oh, nearly missed it. Cook's Lane is it? Wow, that's a sharp turn. It is a sharp turn, you're right. But it's up here on the right hand side. Here we go. What's uh, Elm Elmcroft Farm? Yeah. Right then, let's park up over here. A lot of grass, a lot of grassland, and I can see an arable field over tucked away over there. Let's have a look around the yard, shall we? 
Not a bad size house. Fuel bells are there. Oh, plenty of wood stores for the winter. That would be useful. It would, wouldn't Especially it? Especially if it's cold. Yeah, absolutely. Right next to the house as well. Yeah. A little bit of little sheds there to keep things in. Ah, so here we got the cow pasture here. Not a giant cow pasture, if I'm honest. Don't know how many cows we could have in here. It's not huge, but it's it's all right. This must be the workshop. Yes. So each farm has its own workshop, which is extremely useful. Ah, and this one's got a silo as well. Ah. However, more clutter. So the manure pits over here, quite away from the um, from the cows. This must be the silage pit, which is also very useful. Another another little workshop in here, that'd be useful. Slurry pit, water tanker. Hmm. Ah, a sheep enclosure. So, basically, either of the three farms we choose, I think we could have sheep, couldn't we? Oh, that'd be cool. Um, I mean, we. Uh, from what I've learned, sheep are pretty easy to look after, which is great. Cows are not so easy, but we've been doing those all our lives, so we know a lot more about them, don't we? Is there anywhere to put any horses? No, I think at each farm we'd have to look at an area f for uh, for Bueno, wouldn't we? Although at the first farm, there seemed much more grassland. They did, didn't they? Yeah. They definitely did. Although, I think this farm opens out onto grassland up here. <laughs> yeah, all this grassland out here comes with the farm. That's quite handy. It is. Nice views as well. Plenty of space to put your bueno. I mean, he could go in with the sheep. It's not the end of the world. Mm. But it'd be nice. nice to have some grazing for him. True, true. He could go in with the sheep, couldn't he? But that would be grazing because the sheep wouldn't eat much, would they? They don't tend to graze and get rid of the grass that badly. Or that that much. That That's pretty much it. This is quite a small farm, actually, isn't it? It may be that... We want a small farm. It does feel more homely. It does. Oh, it was a nice garden. You could do a bit of gardening. Is it right next to the town then? Yes, it's sort of on the outskirts of the town. So if you basically anything over that way is um is the town. It's sort of surrounding us a bit, but you don't you don't feel like it is because of the views out over the arable fields, do you? Do you? No, and I like the fact that it's got a private driveway as well. Yeah, yeah, so I like that. You're not in straight from the main road. Yeah, because you've got you've got Crook, uh, Cooks Lane. It's not Crooks Lane. It's Cooks Lane, isn't it? I don't know how far down that goes, but it is a dead end, and that will take us back to the main road. And then yeah, we're just off the main road. So nice. It's not too bad, is it? I think they've all got they've all got positives and negatives. You're absolutely right. They've um, all got positives and negatives. Obviously, depending on the pricing as well. True, true, but we can't worry about that just now, can we? Robert, it's all I worry about. <laughs> I know, but, <laughs> I know, but we're going to go to the bank and we're going to get a loan for however much we we need, aren't we? Okay. Because I'm sorry, but. I can't live with your parents any longer. <laughs> no, you and me both. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's all three farms. Okay, so how do we make a decision? Well, how about we ask our viewers? I think that would be a great idea, actually. Cool. Let's get everybody else to decide. Please see the vote that's going to follow this video. And vote whether you'd like us to take Home Farm, Stonebridge Farm, or Elmcroft Farm. And we will see you very soon. 
Bye for now.